Hi, I'm Donna with ArmadillaPepper.com and today we're making Cherry Chipotle Glazed Flank Steak. This is another very easy, very quick recipe. It takes less than five minutes to prepare the glaze and 15 to 20 minutes to grill the steak. For this recipe today, I'm going to use Fat Bastard's Wild Cherry Jalapeno Barbecue Sauce. I like to use this because it's got the Worcestershire, the cherry, the jalapeno all together. But if you don't have this, you can substitute Worcestershire and cherry jam or whatever. We'll put it in the comments below. So today I'm going to use about half a cup of my barbecue sauce. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I have some adobo with chipotle peppers here and again the amounts will be in the comments below I've got some olive oil thyme diced garlic and crushed Peppers, these are peppers we grew, dried, and crushed ourselves. You can buy whatever kind you like or grow your own. All right, I'm going to put this in my little magic bullet thing and blend it very quickly, just a few pulses. Last weekend, we were at the Florida Festival of Flavor and Fire, and we met Captain Tom and his lovely wife, and they gave us this blackened steak rub. This is what we're going to use today. Thank you so much, Captain Tom. Um, if you don't have this, you can use your favorite steak rub or at a minimum, put some kosher salt on your steak and leave it in the refrigerator overnight. I've got this beautiful piece of flank steak here that I seasoned last night and left in the refrigerator overnight. I've got my grill heated to about 600 degrees. The secret with flank steak is you want to cook it really fast, sear it on both sides, and keep it rare to medium rare because if you cook it any longer, it's going to be tough. Okay, it's been about two minutes. I'm just going to turn my steak about 45 degrees to get some really pretty grill marks on it. Okay, it's been a total of about three, three and a half minutes. So I'm just going to flip my steak. And put my first layer of glaze on. It's been another minute. I've flipped it over and it's time to get the glaze on the other side. been a total of six minutes. Let's get this thing off of here. Okay, we've let our steak rest for 15 minutes. I'm going to cut it across the grain. You always want to cut um, flank steak across the grain because it makes it more tender. And I'm slicing it as thin as I can. Looks really juicy and delicious. Before I serve this, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of um, fresh chopped cilantro on top. Alright, I'm going to give this a try. Look how juicy and tender this is. Look, it just comes apart in my hands. Almost melts in my mouth. I get that cherry, a little bit of cherry flavor, a little bit of heat, the blackening seasoning. This is awesome. If you like this recipe, hit the subscribe button so you'll catch all of my new episodes. Check us out at armadillopepper.com and thank you so much for watching.